हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू आर गुड एंड डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर कंटिन्यू द लर्निंग सीरीज ऑफ प्लास्टिक इंजेक्शन मोल्ड्स इन अर्लियर वीडियो वी कवर्ड सम इम्पोर्टेंट प्लास्टिक इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम बेसिक and most important plastic part designing steps or you can ask which various rules need to follow during designing plastic components so without doing any further delay let's focus on those rules which is basic but important as a designing aspect so the first rule is during uh, designing of plastic part our aim to maintain uniform wall thickness second rule will be during designing we need to focus on wall thickness as thin as possible and only as thick as necessary with reference to the loading and unloading considerations third rule whenever greater wall thickness required need to use ribs means ribbing instead of greater wall thickness would be preferable now we are going to see the fourth rule during designing of plastic parts need need to avoid sharp corners and focusing on providing various radius with different locations rule number 5 is about avoiding the undercuts due to high cost rule number 6 is about the use of a demolding tapers should provide during the designing for the smooth flow of the molten material rule number 7 is about higher precision that means there is no need to go for the higher precision than required because it unnecessary increase the tooling cost rule number 8 is during designing plastic part need to think about multifunctional components if you are required two components differently then we have to think that can we do that both two components in a one a uh, tool in this way we can reduce the tool cost rule number 9 is wherever required need to use economic assembly techniques and rule number 10 is position of gate of molding on the thickest wall that means we need to provide the gates on the thickest wall of the component thank you for watching this video see you in the next video with important topics thank you